AJ Frankie. Uh, originally from Pittsburgh, and I live in St. Cloud, Florida. What are we looking at? 85 Pete 359, originally a glider. It's got a four and a quarter with air to air, 13 speed main, and a four speed auxiliary. 336 rear ends, 270 wheelbase, with a 70 inch double eagle sleeper. What's Cash's hot rod all about? Cash is my five month old son. You were yeah. saying he's into trucks already? He's into trucks already. I don't think he stands a chance. So, are you a multiple generation trucker? I am. I am a third generation. And so, what was your first memory in a truck? Uh, I would say being about three or four years old, my dad had a 76 359 uh, riding around, getting videos taken, getting to ride around in the driver's seat. How about the first time you drove it? Uh, first time I drove was in 1984. I was 11. My dad had a new 84 359. We went to California and I begged the whole way out to drive and he's like, no. And coming back out of California, he let me drive. Oh, my. <laughs> so, and Could then he went reach? to bed and said, wake me up. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. He was brave. Well, you've always been into 359s then, obviously. 359s, yeah. A models. Yeah. And how long have you had this one? I've had this truck for, I purchased it in February of last year. So, oh. about 14, going on 15 months. So, did it look like this when you got it? No. <laughs> uh, it was a nice truck. Um so the original owner who built it as a glider growing up i knew him he was friends of ours um i actually got to ride in it right after he got it built and then he sold it to another friend of ours who actually drove it for him and he drove it up until he sold it to me he bought it in 93 i think from the original owner and then he owned it and drove it until i bought it 14 15 months ago oh my and you picked the scheme and the colors and all that i did it was always red from the factory from day one and jimmy kept it red then when i got it it's pretty well known up around pittsburgh and up there that's where jimmy ran so when i got it i said well the truck needs my identity mm -hmm. so we did some different stuff basically <laughs> have torn it all apart and gone through it and the stripes i picked the colors and then i went through i don't know how many drawings of stripe packages after stripe package and then the stripe package i was going to put on it the day they were laying it out uh, I was getting painted at Clearfield up in PA. My, I called my brother, my buddy Dan. He called me from up there. I was up there for Christmas, and he's like, hey, man, I got a different idea. So we, I went up there. While it was and, being taped up? Yep. So I drove up there, and uh, we, we settled on this. And they were all banging me about the colors, the orange. They said, don't do orange, don't do orange. But I would not let go of the orange because I wanted the old-school hot rod colors. Mm -hmm. And when I was done, the body shop and him were like, okay, the orange was a good call. <laughs> what is your favorite aspect, favorite detail of your truck? Hmm. If you had to pick one thing. Man, that's a tough one. Um, it's a pretty cool dash. The dash being all polished, Jimmy did that. And, uh, I like I like the boxes, I like the double eagle. Man, it's hard, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'd probably have to say the boxes. Yeah. And the, the other question I'm asking everybody here outside is, Matt's is often a last minute scramble. What was the last thing that had to be done before you got here? The last thing I did before I got here was welding brackets under the frame for my underlighting. <laughs> and I caught myself on fire because I know better than to weld with laying oh, down, no! but I caught my big old, big, my diggy shirt was on fire. I'm like, well, that's my arm on fire. Well, you still got your beard, so. Yeah, I saved the beard. I didn't care about the shirt, but that was the last Thing I was under there doing. Excellent. <laughs> I'm like, it needs lights underneath. Well, you're the first truck I saw when we got here. I saw so, you guys at the gate, yeah. I, and I thought it was you, but I wasn't 100% sure, but yeah. Well, it looks great. Perfect day for a sunny truck show. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the fenders, um, a lot of people call them steel hauling fenders. Originally, I think a lot of guys from Pennsylvania, I'm from Pittsburgh, and they're from a company up in Somerset called Super City. And uh, a lot of bucket guys in PA, flatbedders, we run these. I call them lifetime fenders. You can't destroy them. My old Kenworth, the 93, put a set on brand new, and they were on there when I got rid of it. 
Um, and they were the guy that has the truck now called me a couple weeks ago and he said, I just sold them because I don't like them, but they're still perfect. You can't destroy them. You can walk on them, jump on them. The brackets don't break. They have them all fabbed up when you get there. You can, they'll make them longer for you in the front if you want whatever you want. I, I think I'm the first person to put a set of steps on the front. They told me when I was there getting them put on. But I showed up at 8 o'clock in the morning. They knew I was coming. I was out there by lunchtime, and they fabbed all the brackets right there on the spot. So they're great guys, and they do a really good job.